never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys, so this is uh Actually, this is a new video. What's up guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video and today um, we're gonna be doing some pretty cool things to the F10. Remember how my channel started? I used to do one mod at a time. Well, we're stepping it up. In today's video, we're doing two pretty big things. One of them you guys can see in the title, the other one, it's gonna have to stay a secret. But both mods are gonna be super sick. Right now, we're just heading over to pick up Erlon. He's gonna be working on his turbo rebuilds at the shop. So uh let's head down, pick up Erlon, take him to the shop while he's working on rebuilding his turbos. We're gonna be working on modifying the F10. Alright, guys, we are in Erlon's area. We did get a brake light, so that sucks. Um, so we're gonna have to get some new brake pads on this thing and a new sensor. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna be picking up Erlon, so uh, let's find him. Nope, I see him over there. He's chilling. All right, Erlon just dropped his turbos off, and we're just gonna check the brake pads real quick because I called the owner and he said that the brake pads were done at Big O Tires, and Big O Tires confirmed that they replaced the rotors and the brake pads. So it looks like we're gonna be getting a free job, which is perfect, but uh, we gotta see why they didn't replace it in the first place. All right, guys, so we just made it to the shop. The 535 is just chilling there like a villain. We got Erlon, he's doing doing his turbo swap and uh, stuff like that. So anyways, yeah, long time no see to Erlon. He just came from Texas, he blew his turbos, and you know, things happen. <laughs> he just rebuilt, it. I know these are the old turbos, right? Oh, these are the new ones. He basically rebuilt the wastegates and everything. So basically brand new turbos, which is super sick. He's gonna go ahead and put them back in. So his car's gonna be A1 condition. He even did a manual swap. So if you guys are wondering how he did a manual swap on a 335, let me know down below and I'll actually give you guys more info on that. Devon finally showed up. His car hasn't been seen on the channel for about 12 years, but uh, he has three kids now. Uh, one of them is in high school. And uh, <laughs> Uh, anywho, uh, just a casual Audi, and uh, now we're gonna work on the 535. So today, we actually have something that's super sick. We have an intake for the 535. I, I usually rock MST intakes, but we're gonna go ahead and put an AFE intake. It looks super good, so uh, let's go ahead and get the car in here and do it. So this is an AFE intake from Keys Motorsports. If you, if you guys wanna check out the link down below, I also have 5% off discount code right there. So use the 5% discount code, cop intake if you guys want this. But yeah, this is an AFE. I normally go with MST, but I'm going to try an AFE and see if there's a difference. Let's go ahead, unbox this guy, see how it looks, and then just pretty much swap him out. The, the moment of uh, the moment of truce right here, sealing the deal, ripping the seal. There's no going back, there's no returns. Anywho, let's go ahead and pop this sucker open. Damn! Honestly, this packaging is a lot better than any other company I've ever seen, so uh, shout out to AFE for knowing how to package something. Okay, well, they do actually throw in a license plate, so uh, since I don't have any other plates on this car, we're gonna go ahead and rock it. I think this is pretty dope, it actually looks pretty awesome. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pull the rest of this stuff out. All right guys, so we just got the intake out of the box. This is the actual intake itself, and I really, it's like it just a, it's a, like pretty much a housing to be honest. That's the actual intake. Here is pretty much, I guess, uh, just a bunch of parts of the intake and then some rubber thingies and then a plate. So we're gonna go ahead and just remove the original one and then just go ahead and install this one. This looks super badass, not gonna lie. I bet you it's gonna look so much better once it's in there. But also another thing, it actually came with some coupons. So if you guys wanna use any of these coupon codes, first ones to use it, it's your guys. I think this filter one's gonna go pretty quick, but there's also an exhaust and an intake. So if you guys want any of these coupon codes, go ahead and use those. Anywho, let's go ahead, crack it open and uh, just get this old one out. It is disgusting. Guys, that was hella easy. Literally two tabs and just pop this sucker up. All right, guys, we got the full intake off. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these two screws and remove the mass airflow sensor. This is honestly one of the easiest intakes I've ever had to install, so this is pretty awesome. On this pipe right here, I have the sensor mounted on. It comes with two new screws, and I also have the intake mounted on. Uh, it just comes with this pretty much, this hardware right here, and you just tighten that up. Also, these two screws also come with the kit, and that's actually gonna go into the box itself. So on the new box, it's missing three things, and that actually comes off of the old box. The three mounting brackets, let's go ahead and get those three off, put it on the new one, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and tighten up the intake into the back this. All right guys, and just like that, we have the intake installed. It's actually very easy. So this is actually probably the easiest intake I've ever installed. Shout out to AFE and Keys Motorsports. So we're gonna go ahead and just wipe the rest of this down. So uh, see you guys in three, two, one. And just like that guys, I went ahead and just give everything a quick little wipe down, but check that out, it looks so much better. Let me go ahead and just wash up my hands and then we'll go ahead and hear how this thing sounds. I'm hoping it's gonna sound crazy. I'm also gonna throw in the rest of the intake stuff inside the box and I might use that plate. If not, I'll give it out to one of you guys, but uh, let's just, uh, Let's just go wash my hands because I'm pretty excited to hear this. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in, but Arlon's gonna go ahead and record for us. So uh, hold the camera, good boy. All right, I'll be right back. You gotta show me when I'm the greasiest. <laughs>
little something. Yeah, you can definitely hear it because these AFE intakes, when they suck in, they kind of make like a whirl noise. You remember when we put one in the N52? How it makes that almost like a harmonic noise? Sounds good though. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what the pros and cons are of this amazing, beautiful looking intake. And that's the first one. It looks amazing. Guys, like, look at that. It looks like an OEM fitment, but aftermarket at the same time. It looks like something that BMW put in, but it's aftermarket, which just makes it make it look like it's something that costs like an extra 2,000 from the factory. So all the other intakes I looked up online, at least all the aftermarket ones, None of them that I've seen on YouTube actually add a significant sound difference for this car. The main reason you would get an intake like this compared to any other intake on the market, it's the fact that this one adds the most amount of power. Now this is all through paper. I will be dynoing this car once you do all the other bolt-ons because I'm really wondering how fast this car is compared to my 435. It says this intake alone adds 32 horsepower, which is a huge claim. So that's kind of insane. I know all the other intakes I got from all my other cars, they said they add 10 to 11 horsepower. And normally that maybe means that you've added like two to three horsepower. So this one is saying it adds 32 horsepower. So if anything, it's at least 10 horsepower, which is pretty crazy to think that an intake like this adds performance. So this is more of a performance and aesthetic mod more than a sound mod, but there's so many things that you guys can do to make this car sound even better. This car is very restrictive, and my goal is to make sure to make this car sound as good as a 435. So we have a Valtronic, which is being suppressed by the catalytic converter, the 800cc. So we're gonna be getting those deleted. The intake, we're gonna go ahead and add the charge pipe, all the other bolt-ons, even a blow-up valve to just make it all work together, make it sound really good. And again, with the body kit and everything, we're gonna make this car absolutely insane, but these are really coming together. The Valtronic looks insane this AFE intake looks so OEM if you guys want to link to any of this stuff again it's from keys motorsports link down below use code nor5 but anywho we're gonna go ahead and head home and I'll catch you guys tomorrow we're gonna be doing a few things to the car aesthetically we're gonna be replacing the door handle and we're also gonna be doing the roof wrap so the roof is gonna be wrapped in black and we're actually gonna be wrapping the whole car once we get the full body all right guys so I just went ahead and floored it um there is a noticeably small difference now this isn't a turbocharger it's an intake and the fact that I can notice a small difference like when I floor right now it does feel a little bit faster which is kind of crazy to say and this is just through an intake so if you guys want this little bit of more power especially coupled up with the tune and a couple more bolt-ons I definitely think this is the right intake for you but this one's more for the performance and the aesthetic and it makes it look OEM makes it look classy and it just looks really freaking good so guys so this is the next day we're here in the garage with the 535 I'm here with my brother shout out to him he's gonna be helping us wrap the roof so I've never actually done it on this car and it has this trim piece that goes all the way over here so that's a pretty big trim piece so if I break this it will fly off so we're gonna go ahead and try to figure out the best way to move this from the looks of it I think you just pop it up and move it back I um, mean because there's no way you can move it forward I think the only way is to move it back here so I'm gonna go ahead and just try to finesse it out we're gonna have to take off the shark fin we're gonna have to take down the window and then uh, clean the whole roof off we're gonna clay bar the whole roof as well because you we want this wrap to look like paint so I'll show you guys the process of it but I think the roof's gonna look so much better in black so let's just get to it so rather just pretty much wipe down the roof so what actually comes with this kit which is super nice it actually comes with a quick little detailer kit that you can pretty much wipe the whole roof down or wipe whatever surface you're trying to wipe down it actually comes with a rag which i didn't even know and then it comes with three clay bars which is the main reason i bought the kit so i like how it's individually packaged and each one of these don't just last one time use like i'm gonna go ahead and keep both of these and these are probably good for like two or three cars each one as long as it doesn't touch the ground so make sure you don't drop these this one right here we're gonna go ahead and use it on the roof and we're gonna go ahead and repackage it and save it because these things can last a very long time and not to mention not the cheapest things in the world so first things first let's go ahead and just remove both pillars and then clean off the roof wipe it down and use some clay bar and just make sure this roof is spotless So yeah, so my brother is actually wiping down the whole roof right now. And I actually removed this side, which is the passenger side trim. This thing is huge. What's nice about it, unlike the E90 chassis, this is what I really like about the F chassis, is that everything is not as hard as the E chassis. The E chassis looks like they tried to make everything more modern and make it look a whole lot better, but the design and the way to put it together is just very flawed. Everything really breaks when you take things apart. You guys are about to see in the next video when we do the AC condenser on the 135. It is just so stupid. I have to remove the whole front clip or the radiator and everything for the radiator to get to the AC condenser. I think that's highly flawed and a lot of trucks, all you gotta do is remove two lines 
unbolt the AC connector, pull it out, very easy. So I like on the F chassis as well, they make it that easy, which is nice. Anywho, uh, these are the only two tabs that came off, but they don't even look broken, so it looks like we could easily put this back on. We'll clean this as well, but I don't think we gotta be wrapping that, the color of the roof, because if you guys look at it right here, this actually goes alongside with the roof. So we're gonna go ahead and just wrap the roof first, see how it looks, and see if it's gonna be a good decision to wrap this piece right here black as well or should we wrap it the color of the car when we actually wrap the car so guys let me know down below what you guys think is better i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this if we have enough wrap but this is a pretty big piece so we'll have to see about that my brother's pretty much almost finishing up cleaning up on that side i'm gonna go ahead and remove this piece real quick and not make a mess so he doesn't have to clean as much on this side either All right guys, so the next portion we're about to do, it is really hot out here to do, like really hot. Anyhow, the next portion we're about to do is just go ahead and wrap, all, not wrap, uh, mask all this place around you. So we're trying to get this piece off. We're not actually scratching the roof of the paint. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and just mask all around this and then we'll go ahead and take this little sucker off. So like Nur said, we just put masking tape because we're gonna try to peel this up, uh, just kind of like rip it out with a tool and we don't wanna damage the roof. So usually on last time, my brother damaged it on a 435. Instead, we're being safe this time, just putting masking tape. And now we're gonna start working on this and getting this off. So we just got this piece off, which is so much easier with a heat gun, so make sure to use that. Now we just use one bolt to get off that antenna, and we're ready to go to wrap the roof. All right guys, so uh, I made a mistake, and uh, it's the fact that I actually broke off the radio piece off my antenna. Now, this is a lot of people tell me like, dude, how do you know how to work on cars and stuff like that? I don't know, like I actually just go about things. If I break it, it is what it is, you learn things. Um, this antenna, the cheapest one I found was 50 for a five series. Then I typed in seven series, exact same product number, and it came out to be 25 bucks. So I ordered a new one, $25. I guess I'm not gonna have a radio for a week, but I never even use a radio, so it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on the car when we're done. And uh, I ordered one with the, I ordered I ordered a new one that's coming in for 25 bucks. So yeah, it is a $25 loss right here. It is what it is. Um, basically with the connector that I made a mistake on. Let me show you guys how it's connected. So when it's connected like that, you guys see it's in there, right? So when it's in there, you have to, and it's locked, you have to release the lock, and then you guys can see from the back, actually it's a really good diagram to show people how to do this stuff when it's broken. You basically release the lever from, uh, and you pull just like that. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. I was just yanking this out once I actually pulled this out, and I thought that's all, but no. It's pretty much a two-step thing. So uh, you live and you learn. Pretty much the roof is ready to pretty much get clay barred, so that is the absolute final step. We are doing a lot of prepping because I really want the roof to come out good. Every time we've done a roof, we haven't done this many steps, so uh, yeah, at this point, I just unbox this and go ahead and clay bar the whole roof. Guys, yeah, so I'm going over the car. Look how much dirt I'm getting off the car. This is all dirt I'm getting off the car with just clay barn it. Like, it feels kind of rough and it becomes instantly smooth. Just by literally spraying some stuff on it, the kit, and just wiping it down and it's buttery smooth. So that's pretty crazy. Um, so I'm just doing this to the entire roof, making it as smooth as it could possibly be. All right guys, now that we got all the contaminants off the roof, look how buttery smooth that is. I'm very proud of ourselves. Like we're, we're learning how to detail at the same time as wrapping a roof. So um, unfortunately with this car, the gasket is around the window. I don't know if you guys can see all that. But yeah, there is a gasket that's on the outside. So I'm gonna have to go down and pick up a really good blade that can cut all the way around. Uh, but anyways, other than that, let's just go ahead and just put the wrap on the roof. We might have to get two knives to hold this down and make life easy, but other than that, um, I think we're ready to go. So uh, full time loss mode is going to wrap this roof. Yeah, so my brother's gonna go ahead and start working on the sides, and he's also gonna be tucking in uh, on the back as well. And then once he's done with all that, he's gonna be heating it all up just to make sure it all stays there. But if you guys look at the roof, it is buttery smooth. There's no wavies, no dirt underneath it. And that's what, because we went ahead and clay barred the whole roof before we wrapped it. So as you guys saw, we did a whole lot more preparation before we actually did the wrap, but the wrap looks amazing. We do actually have an extra, like we just have one piece of dirt down here and that's what caused that but that used to be all over the roof normally when I wrap my cars, and it's only in one spot. So, we are improving. One little flaw is not a big deal. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and head down to Home Depot and get a really good blade to do precision cutting right around here. So I'm spending a lot of money to make sure this roof comes out amazing, but that's because this car is worth it. So I'm gonna go out and get a really good blade. The reason is for that, if you have a dull blade and you try to cut, you have to cut harder than you want to, and that's gonna go into the paint. So if you have a really good blade, you're able to cut 
the wrap with barely any force and you won't even have to touch or damage the paint which is really nice so without further ado guys i'll see you guys when i get back uh and i'll show you guys my brother's progress when uh when i get that new blade all right guys i just got back my brother did an amazing job he just went ahead and did all the edges so the only thing i need to do right now is go ahead and fix all this i need to go ahead and cut all the way around this sunroof so the sunroof is complete and i went ahead and just picked up a milwaukee knife now this is probably unnecessary i saw a regular blade for about five bucks and then this one was eight dollars but it was milwaukee and you guys know that i'm trying to switch everything to milwaukee i don't know i really really just like the red i'm a sucker for red so that's the only reason milwaukee has me so let's hope to god this blade is as good as the brand is so let's go ahead and try cutting the roof with this hope to god it comes out good I think by far this is my absolute best roof wrap. The only flaw in the entire roof was right there. The rest of the roof is absolutely beautiful. So all I have to do now is just pretty much cut this little opening from the antenna and then uh, wrap the antenna. We just knocked off the antenna that looks absolutely beautiful. We just knocked off the rest of the roof and pretty much every corner and edge is done. Now, this did take us a lot of time, probably more than we should have spent on it, but it doesn't matter. I'm super happy with it. So the next thing is, I'm gonna go ahead and see if this looks better, uh, pretty much black or with the paint of the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at a few videos real quick. All right guys, looking at this picture, this side, he didn't do it and it doesn't look right. Neither did he do the antenna on that and that just doesn't look right. If you guys look at this photo right here, let me go ahead and enlarge that. He went ahead and did both sides to it. I think that actually looks pretty good and from the front, since it's black, it, move, it, it pretty much blends in with the window. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the side pieces in black. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be fun or easy, but let's just go ahead and get to it. Guys, the pillow thing isn't really sitting right, so I do have to readjust that, but uh, so far, it looks so good. Super happy that I went with the black. That looks amazing. Guys, check out the F10. It is officially complete. At least the roof is, at least. We're gonna be wrapping this whole car once we get the full body kit on there. I already have the hood. The fenders are coming in, and the full body kit is coming in for this car. You guys told me down below what exactly you guys wanna see. So if you guys are wondering what body kit I went with, the first video on this channel has to do with this car. Check out that video, and it actually says what body kit we went with. So I went ahead, got that body kit, and it's gonna look so good, especially with the wrap color that I'm gonna be going with. It's gonna look so good, especially with carbon. Oh my God. Anyway, I'm super stoked for the roof, super stoked for that intake. I I want to conclude the video, but I also don't want to conclude the video. As I was driving the car earlier today, I did notice that the car does have actually power differences. When I first got this car, it didn't feel anything like my 435, but now that I have this intake on it, it does feel slightly better. And you guys might be saying, oh, okay, slightly better. That's not that big of a deal. Guys, for an intake to feel any difference at all is a miracle. And the fact that I can feel any difference with just an intake, I think that alone is absolutely insane. What I love about it too, this intake is completely covered up this is a fully functional intake this is not just for looks this is a functional intake looks at it does look really good at the same time the cone itself is actually in the box so in terms of cooling this is doing its job perfectly i do want to fix this one flawed portion on this door panel and check out that m sport steering wheel we are going to actually be upgrading this with an ozza wheel pretty soon so look forward to that but i just want to replace this real quick because every time i touch this my hands get sticky it is just disgusting. So let's go ahead and remove this. I don't know how hard this is gonna be, uh, but let's get to it. All right, guys, it's an absolute mess behind me. I'm sorry for that, but check this out, guys. This is the brand new door handle. I don't know if it's blurry, but yeah, this looks absolutely stunning. So how this works, like in the E90s, you actually have to rivet all these out of the door panel, but I think all you have to do is remove these four screws, and then you can replace this entire thing, which I think is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and just take out those four screws and uh, see if we can replace this quick and easy. Guys, I had to clean up the garage before showing you guys everything, but I'm super happy in how this car is coming together. So coming out from the rear, you guys can see the Valtronic exhaust. You guys can see how the, the roof kind of blends in with the window. 
it looks so good. So now that the roof is done, the exhaust is, uh, you know, somewhat done. We're not done with the exhaust here. We're gonna do a lot of things on it. We have the intake installed, and then this is the final touch to the interior that's been seriously bugging me, but now it looks like brand new. This is literally a brand new piece, and it feels so nice. No more sticky stuff. That's awesome. That was the only thing that was like kind of defective with the interior that I really wanted to like touch up. It was only 12 bucks too, so it was really cheap. But yeah, this interior, and even the gray right now doesn't look too bad considering it has the black roof. Like it just looks so good. If you guys want a link to the wrap that I use, it's gonna be a link down below. If you guys also want a link to that amazing intake plus a 5% discount code, it's gonna be a link down below from Keys Motorsports. Use code NOR5 for 5% off anything in the, key, in the Keys Motorsports shop. Without further ado, I'm an absolute mess. I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. You guys can see I'm sweating. It's a hot day here in California. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Cop some merch, support your boy. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.